Hi everybody, it's Lace, and this is going to be part two on uh, salvaging. This is going to cover wood salvaging, and I just came out of uh, Superstition Canyon, which I think is currently, as of R33, one of the easier control points to get to, um, as opposed to the other one. We're on our way to Highvale, and uh, Highvale's up here. Uh, Superstition Canyon, the other side of the pass, is near Virtus, in that mountain section. Um, we're just going to do a quick flyby. Um, and then Resolute is another city that we're going to cover in this because that's where you can go and break down all the loot that you just uh, got. And just running real quick here. And uh, I'll cut it back. I won't do the run back. But um, where's that other pass? I think it's up here. Uh, so if you like coming from like central, you know, Brittany or Brittany or Owl's Head or, you know, Owl's Head to Brittany. Um, the other way that you can get pretty quickly to Highvale is this one here, which is, I had forgotten the name, ah, Sanctus Spine. That one um, is going to be considerably harder to run through as a low-level player. Um, there's a lot more mobs. And again, this is, you know, as of um, R, R33, um, you know, it, these scenes could change and, and their difficulty could change and, and things like that. Now, of course, I said I wasn't going to run back this way, but... We're almost there. Um, I'll pick up inside of Highvale in one moment. So I just zoned in Highvale, and uh, it's a one skull tier. And you'll say, oh my goodness, you're higher level. Why are you here? Well, the reason I'm here is because there's a higher concentration of archers and mages, which um, allow me to get more wood. Well, or, or things I can break down into scrap wood. Now, most of these things are going to be, you know, they're, they're going to be shoddy bows and lesser stab and lesser wand. And I want to talk about that just like I talked about it for the metal. When you have the disqualifier in front of it that says, you know, lesser staff or lesser wand or shoddy, your salvage rates, even if you raise your salvage truly high, uh, which I have to ex experiment with this, um, they still just don't net those big, big volumes that you get when you have one that doesn't have the disqualifier. And again, I talked about, sorry to repeat, and I did talk about this in the metal thing, when I have a thing like a, a war hammer or a cobalt hammer, those have chances to proc for really nice, you know, 50 or whatever kind of scraps in metal. Um, I am going to show you where to get the big procs on the bows and stuff. But here, this is a great place um, if you're lower level and stuff and even higher level. And, and it's got some unique things to steal, which I also want to show you because Halloween's coming up. And this is going to be part of how you can make your own little jack-o'-lanterns pretty easily by stealing them uh, without paying $600 per candle from um, a deco merchant or something that you need that candle to put inside a piece of pumpkin to make your jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to show you how to make cheap jack-o'-lanterns as well as the uh, wood scrap here. Okay, so just following the path down, I'm going to make my first left that I can past these rocks, get stuck on something, there we go. Um, I'm just kind of showing you the areas. This is going to have a high concentration of ranged mobs. There will be some melee. I'm, I'm not going to actually uh, kill them right now because I'm just trying to show you. Um, so if you're low level, go slow. Uh, try to pick pick your targets and uh, you know pull them out. Getting some stutter here in the video, so sorry about that. Uh, sometimes the elves will kill the wizards and stuff, so you'll have a corpse. Um, but anyway, see how I've got like three guys lined up? Ooh, look at all those bows. Um, there's some stealables in here and stuff. This candle type that sits on a table like this does not work in the jack-o'-lantern. Um, somebody was testing these out and actually shared the information because I couldn't remember from the last time I made a jack-o'-lantern uh, which candle will work, and that is not a candle that will work. There, I believe there are three types of candles uh, for sale on a vendor, um, on a deco vendor. Um, let me just run a little bit because I'm starting to get a, quite a little train going. Um, also, if you're going to be going into cooking, look here, we got four little lovely piggies. Uh, you know, again, people, will, there's some elves that patrol this highway. They'll kill the thugs, so that's another way to get free stuff. There's the guys patrolling, and uh, there's a pumpkin. Uh, this isn't the ideal spot to get pumpkin, although I've noticed that in like a Sol uh, Solus Bridge here, they have pumpkins. Um, but this isn't the this isn't the pumpkin place that I would call quote unquote the pumpkin place. Um, anyway, uh, you go through here and clear. You'll see there's mages, there's uh, archers, there's thugs. Uh, the thugs will drop stuff, so you can get some metal scrap out of here. Uh, but the main reason I come here 
is for the archer weapons to get those uh, shoddy bows. I'm just going to run inside here, and well, if you go to, too far to the left, she does a stupid animation of walking. Look, yeah, look at her. Really, you got to walk backwards and around, and then you still don't hit the gate, right? <laughs> That's probably something I need to bug, but if you can just find the sweet spot to uh, break open the gates, there you go. Um, talking about stealables, that's the next part we're going to go into. And, uh, you know, there's some, uh, I think these are apples, right? Or tomatoes, okay. Well, tomatoes are used in some recipes and I think some dyes or something. Um, again, I'm not killing anything, even though we're in here. Uh, pewter mugs, if you're looking for some pewter stuff, you can get a couple here, you can get some of these, you can get some of these. Uh, and there's two different types of clay pots right now that are stealable. One without a handle, one with. Great deco. Uh, we use those in the Price is Right. Uh, but this is the candle that you want for making jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm going to steal that. Um, there isn't another one upstairs, and we're only going into, you know, the jack-o'-lantern stuff. If you're looking to make bucket helms, look, there's a bucket um, that'll help you uh, save on having to make the bucket before you make the bucket helm. Um, so just kind of training through stuff here. Not really going to kill. Um, here's another item that um, I discovered by chance, and there's two of them in this zone. Do you, you've seen the pewter jugs, they like, look like a, you know, a carafe, I guess you could call it or something. But see how this is different? It's really taller. Uh, this is another unique stealable. There may be other places that have them, but I haven't really seen them because I haven't hit every zone. Um, so that's a good thing for you deco folks to notice. And on here, do you see these little cups? It's called pewter cup. It's different than a mug. It's smaller. It's almost like a shot glass. So I really like it for a bar environment deco. Uh, and then you also have a ceramic cup and then one more ceramic cup. Um, there's a plate, but you know, again, I'm just kind of trying to show the unique ones. Um, so that's those. Uh, let's see. I think in this house, there's something that we want that we haven't looked at yet. I think there's one more. Uh, uh, pewter thing in here. Oh no, it's another candle, which we need for our jack-o'-lantern. So we're taking that bad boy uh, upstairs. I've scoped out many times, so there's things up there to steal. But you know, again, I'm trying to show the jack-o'-lantern and some of the unique items in here. So we're only touching on those areas to steal from. Uh, there's the there's uh, another display of that same thing I was showing you. It's a little different than some of the other pewter stuff. So we're going to take that. Uh, and again, I. I don't know if these give truth hits. I think people have said stealing from zones and areas like this do give um, hits to your truth. Uh, mine's totally bork, trust me. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't really worry about it. Need some breads. Don't want to steal them in the city. Here's a place to get breads. You've got some vegetables you can grab here. If you don't want to get them in the city uh, with the new cooking coming in. I know there's some things that use lettuce and whatnot. One other thing I want to point out is about finding weapons. Uh, weapons that you find on the ground and stuff in scenes like this, you can't sell, but you can salvage them. So I can grab this, I can grab that, I can look for things in the weapon rack. And inside here, I think there's a bow on the ground. You know, I've obviously done this area many, many times. Um, but then there's a weapon rack with some stuff on it. And, you know, so just think about that as well. Um, that kind of covers the stealables in here. And you can see how many archers and, and casters there are. So just keep in mind, that's tons of wood. It's going to be the shoddy wood, which, you know, it'll take you a few trips through here to, to load up and, you know, get five, 600 scraps of wood um, because you don't get as many for the ones with disqualifiers. But as a low level person, especially, let's say, if you're trying to work carpentry or something like that, um, this is going to help you get scrap wood to be able to not have to harvest as many uh, wood trees and things and it is a pumpkin patch there's only two that spawn here and, and they will respawn if you spend a lot of time in the area there's some more casters and stuff um, but this is why I like this area again um, it's a lot of a lot of uh, individual items that you're getting for a set amount of scrap wood but remember each one of these mobs drops a little gold so you're gonna make a little gold on the way and as you get better at it, you can just, you know, really take on five or six, ten, whatever, and clear them. As you saw, I didn't hit anything. Uh, my health didn't get too scary or anything like that. 
Uh, next up, we're going to move to Resolute, which is the uh, NPC town right near here where we would break down our stuff. And there's some things to teach you in there. Be right back inside Resolute. Oh, I totally forgot. We're, you know, we zoned out of uh, High Vale and we're on the way to Resolute. Uh, there were two more of those uh, candles with the circular uh, candle holder piece uh, to get there in High Vale, and I missed them. So there's a total of three, I believe. Maybe four, but uh, definitely there's three. And uh, the, the other two are inside that compound near the well, um, just for reference. So just heads up. So we came inside Resolute. There was, you know, the construction sign. We passed through one thing. Now to get through this next area, there's um, a portcullis. Now, look, of course it goes down right when I get there. Uh, you'll, you'll need to double click the guard and hit open. Sometimes I get a switch as busy, especially if you, you know, it's solo or whatever, and the gate doesn't actually open. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't see how it's busy. There's nobody here. It's just me in this instance. But uh, this area, uh, Resolute does have a crafting area and stuff. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is this is where you break down your wood that you just salvage in High Vale, which will reduce your poundage overall in your character so that you can go back to High Vale, do some more hunting. And just keep rinsing and repeating and breaking your wood scrap down till you get enough. But look at this. It's a pumpkin holiday here. And you can just go up and snag those pumpkins. So since Halloween's coming, you're going to want to do this. You can just go and get your pumpkins. And I've already showed you the candle for it. I'm just going to grab one pumpkin here. And I'll show you how to craft one in case you, you know, didn't get the recipe. Um, but go over here. Um, it's on a cooking stove. Station might be in a house. It looks up. Oh, nope, there we go. Nope, that's smelting. Well, I'll find that in a second. One moment. Let me log out and find where the cooking is. Okay, the the crafting pavilion was over here that we just left, right there. Uh, the cooking thing is here, so we should have a station inside. Um, let me uh, get up on it. That's what we're looking for. So we should be able to just go to the stove, and I believe it's just pumpkin and candle. Um, yeah, and uh, again, the candle are those ones that look like this with the round bottom, if you can see that in the picture. And we only grab one pumpkin, but boom, we'll craft that, and we will have a jack o' lantern for Halloween. I know everybody's going to want these, and now you know how to get the candles and uh, a good place to. Uh, get pumpkins uh, is, is in Resolute, you know, uh, three, four, five spawn at a time. And I don't know if it counts as stealing because they're just sitting there. They look like they want me to harvest them. So I'm taking them from Resolute. Um, where are we at? What's here? Is this the shop I want to show you? There's also some pretty cool stealables here. Um, nope, not this one. I think it's in the magic shop right up here. And this is a stealable that um, I used in uh, the Price is Right deco thing because I just happened to find it here in Resolute. Um, so it's going to be, you guys know about the, the, the scales already, right? But did you see things like this? Okay, the condenser you may have seen in other areas, um, but it's, um, you can see how it's kind of like a pointed funnel thing. Pretty cool for deco. And then here, now, right there, it has a flask on it, so it's just a flask I'm getting. But this is called a glass stand when I mouse over it, and it looks like a little Bunsen burner with a with a flask over it or something like that, and, and you can take those. So I just wanted to, this is one of the unique deco items that I found that I hadn't really noticed in other places, either from my lack of exploring or whatever, so I wanted to point those out. And then, of course, there's tons of bottles. There's, you know, the pewter normal thing. We stole a couple of the other ones that I've only found so far Personally, um, in High Vale, there's, you know, all these other things that you could use for deco. Uh, remember, it's going to take a virtue hit, so decide if you want to be a pirate or buy these off of somebody. Um, one of the other things is, um, like, if you try to steal from a vendor, and, and they, they tend to, if you go near them, like, if I go near this vendor, look how she turns to me. She's watching my every move, okay? But if I go behind like this and kind of change my camera angle, I can now steal these ribs. 
I can steal these steaks. And, and if I looked in like chat or, or I guess it would be probably everything or something, I don't see the what, 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 you know, when you get busted stealing, uh, the vendors now say something. So, to, so just change up your cam camera angle if you can get behind them. And, uh, then you can, you know, I can grab these salamis and stuff and, uh, she's not yelling at me. So that's just another little tip. Now this one, she's going to watch me like a hawk and I'm not going to get the bread, but we already know we can get the bread in uh, Highvale because there was, you know, the unattended area. Uh, the second thing is like a lot of the vendors in different towns are starting to work on schedules. So if they go to bed, their stalls are just, they just leave their stalls wide open. Uh, again, so this is only if you don't mind taking the truth hits and uh, stealing. Uh, if not, you know, I'll, I can be contracted to go steal things for you and you can purchase them from me. Uh, but for Halloween, look at all these lovely pumpkins that you can grab. Sure, you can grow them in your own garden. Or if you're not so uh, truthful, virtuous like me, you can steal the pumpkins. And we showed you the candles. And I think that kind of covers um, this. I, I would break down any of the shoddies that I got here for uh, salvage. Uh, I'm not going to show you where I found some uh, nice uh, bows without the disqualifier. Um, I would suspect they would sell for more as well. I think there's a direct correlation uh, sometimes, but sometimes it seems to override between uh, the type of thing that you salvage and the amount you get back. The, the qualifier definitely seems to affect it. It may affect prices in selling back. Um, I know the durability affects the prices in selling back things. I, I haven't seen that it exactly affects the salvaging, but the disqualifier, non-disqualifier definitely affects the uh, salvaging uh, amount that you get back. So let me just show you this next zone. I'm going to get out of here and I'll be back on the other side of Resolute on the Overland in one moment. Okay, coming out of Resolute and running back past Highvale, which may be your next stop if you were just keep on going salvaging and, and stuff. Um, if you go further down this area, we're going to head towards the shore down here. Um, and I checked out a couple of these areas uh, trying to find... Um, because sometimes you have to wait for the mobs to respawn if you're higher level and hunting in high veil. And I was trying to find an, uh, a second zone to hunt in. Uh, you got a little NPC town there of Bramble. Um, this, uh, this here is a PvP area. I don't know if people know this. They always look for the Shard Falls, but um, Apollos Ruins is another PvP area for you folks if you want to explore that. Um, but where we're going to go is we're going to go down here to Tenebris Harbor. So we still have the construction sign. There's dead bodies. I think you do take virtue hits for looting them. <laughs> Trust me, my virtues have been hit enough. Um, but it's kind of kind of close set up to where Exeter is. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm sorry. I might have given misinformation. But what we have here is we're going to have uh, uh, this archer. It's a, like a cobalt archer or something. And we're going to have this um, the satyrs. And there's going to be some fawns. These guys are only dropping the shoddy longbow, so I just don't even want to deal with them because they're just not worth my time. I'm looking for the good longbows. The good longbows are going to be the guys that look like bandits still currently. This guy here. So if I go into him, he's going to be the one that I want. I'll just kill him real quick here to show you the, the bow that I'm talking about. Um, I think there's actually even a few crafting stations. I didn't find a wood one in here. Um, and that's something I kept in the back of my mind. It's like, man, it'd be nice if, you know, in some of these town-like areas that um, we saw. So, yeah, it's a longbow. It's not a broken longbow or something. So I'm just going to take all. Um, there's another archer pinging me. Look, see, I'm getting surrounded by archers. And this is a tier 5, so I am starting to take some damage. Um, I don't want to die. Uh, doing the demo, so we're just gonna run the heck out. Look, there's some chickens. I think there's some chickens and sheep and stuff like that. So if you're, you know, trying to get carcasses uh, to work on your, um, to work on your uh, cooking, yeah, that's supposedly gonna be getting a little love uh, upcoming. This is another place to get it. Um, yeah, look at me. I'm like at half health. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little beat up here. So um, if you're low level, this is not the place for you. But, you know, if you're, oh, look at me smacking at a watcher. Oopsie. My bad. I just probably took another hit on something um, just because I ran by it. Um, but anyway, this is a great place to get 
regular long bows, there's regular weapons. Again, when I say regular, that means it didn't have the disqualifier, and I have found that it tends to salvage a little better. So I think that kind of ends this video. We've covered uh, how to get your jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, uh, where to get the wood, um, where to get some higher wood, and uh, you know maybe a little bit harder mobs if you don't want to do the tier one and salvage 50 things for 200 scrap, where you could come here and maybe do 10 things for you know five to 10 things for the same amount. It's just going to depend on your skill level which one works out best for you, and then also some different uh, places to steal. Like I said, Resolute is um, got some unique stuff there with the alchemy flask, and you got your pumpkins. Um, there may be some other towns that I had, hadn't noticed that had little public gardens like that that were growing pumpkins, but this is one way to set you up for Halloween. Um, also, remember I had done one on metal scrap um, and showed like Twins Foothills where we we're still showing the same thing. It was a tier 5 with no disqualifiers. That's in a different video. Um, so for now, take care everybody. Happy hunting and be safe.